The 56-year-old continued to plan her upcoming wedding during Tuesday's episode of the TLC show. After Amy went wedding dress shopping, she visited her son Zach and daughter-in-law Tori to vent about her frustrations regarding Chris. The Little People, Big World star complained that Chris has different ideas for the wedding, which meant she had to compromise on many of her ideas. As the conversation played out on screen, Tori criticized her mother-in-law in a confessional for making the wedding about herself. Tori, 30, said she noticed Amy was acting like the wedding is only for her and not a celebration of her marriage to Chris. She said, It's not my wedding, it's not my marriage. It is our wedding. And so when Zach wanted to be a part of it, like, You should have input on our wedding day. Fans sighed with Tori. Little people, big world viewers agreed with Tori, as many took to Twitter to slam the mother of four. One person wrote, Amy has no insight. Another added, Tori is right in that she has to be part of the wedding and the marriage between Amy and Chris. A third chimed in, Tori just gets it. Our wedding. Our marriage. One viewer said they think Tori. Loki doesn't care. For Amy, as another wrote. Amy used to talk about her love for Chris. Now she talks about a wedding. Amy continued to receive backlash for how she's handling wedding planning, as someone else commented. Amy is clearly obsessed with marrying Chris. Someone else noted that the engaged couple need to work on their relationship, writing. Is it just me, or do Chris and Amy need an intervention? Earlier in the episode, Amy stunned as she tried on different wedding dresses in preparation for the big day. Bridezilla. Amy and Chris, 59, will tie the knot at Roloff Farms in Hillsboro, Oregon on August 28. As the couple have shared their wedding planning process with fans on the show, some have slammed the motivational speaker for her controlling nature. During last week's episode, the pair had an argument over how many people to invite to the ceremony and what to give their guests as parting gifts. This process shakes me up a little bit. Amy told the cameras in a confessional. As a wedding favor type of gift, I thought it would be really cool to give the guests a hand-painted rock. She explained. I chose the rock thing because it seemed like almost every hike or every adventure or place that we went to, I always found a rock and so, I don't know, rock just seemed like a good thing and hopefully our relationship is gonna be rock solid. Chris replied that he would add it to a list, but still think of other ideas for party favors. But Amy was not amused, as she replied curtly. This will be the wedding favor. We don't need any more wedding favors. One wedding favor. It's gonna be the rock. Fans quickly took to Twitter to slam Amy, with many agreeing she was being selfish. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.